Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 3 of our 3D Maze series which we're making on Scratch 3. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Just finished coding. Now I have to interject here that if you've not watched parts 1 and 2, please watch them before you come here because as you can see, I'm picking up from where I left off and for this video to make sense, you need to watch the previous ones. I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch the videos and then come right back. If you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 and 2, in which case let's continue with our raycaster. So as far as our raycaster is concerned, what we can do is just paint a new sprite and not really paint anything within its costume. I'm just going to rename it to raycaster and um, after this, I'm going to head over to the code and um, we will start um, all of our code only when we receive the message draw. And I know we haven't broadcasted it yet and you can just say when I receive draw and what you can do is head over to the dot and after you find the distances, you can just say broadcast draw. You don't even have to type, you know, uh, put in a broadcast and wait because since we have a fine distance and weight within the player itself, it automatically implies that this is going to be, you know, going on serially and thus um, the player would only continue with its code when the raycaster is finished. All right, so when we receive draw, and once again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to make a new block called draw and I will run without screen refresh. And this is what I did in the dot and this is what I will do here as well. So within draw, it's kind of complicated. So stay with me here. I will first set the pen size to one, which means it's just one pixel. And after this, I will erase all. So whatever is on the screen, I'm going to erase it. And I will also set the pen to be up, which means we're not going to draw anything while we're going to, you know, the locations. So I will go to the extreme left end of the screen. So X negative 240 and Y is going to be zero. So uh, left and center. And after this, I will enter into um, a loop. And this is going to be repeating field a few times. So this is where we're going to draw the stuff on the screen um, where it appears like a 3D maze. And um, within this forever loop, I'm going to loop through the distances list. And um, for that, I need a counter. So I'm just going to call it C and I will set C to be one right here. So set C to one. And after this, I will enter into this loop and I will say repeat one more time. And here you need to head over to operators and grab a divided by. Now for simplicity purposes, I'm going to assume that the maximum or not the maximum that the width of the screen is 500 pixels now exactly it's 480 but this is just going to get us a round answer so i'm going to go ahead this way so repeat um, 500 divided by field a few times and each and every time what i will do is i will add a so add um add a set y2 okay um not this set y2 and here you can just say negative 1500 divided by item c of distances and remember that item c is going to be that particular item and as a result we are going to go through each item in the list and divide it um, or rather take the inverse of it or divide that uh, by the reciprocal of 1500 so what this is going to result in is basically each item um, having a lesser value than what it was. So if an, uh, for example, if a wall was nearer, then this is going to have a larger value for that. And if a wall was farther, then it's going to have a, you know, smaller value for it. It's just going to flip it around, um, compared to, you know, saying item C divided by, um, 1,500. All right. So anyway, so we set Y to this. And after this, what I will do is I will say pen down because here's where we're going to draw the actual wall. And now I'm going to duplicate this once again. And I will say set it to 1500 divided by item C of distances. Now, obviously, if I just leave it like this, um, it's going to result in just a bunch of lines drawn um, right in the uh, right in the extreme left. So I will also have to change um, the X value by one. 
so that I start to see the um, Raycaster moving around. And if we add in a chain C by one, since we're looping through, the list, uh, through this list, you will get a Raycaster. So I will test this out right here. And boom, you can see that we have walls showing up. Um, what I will do now is I will make sure that both the player and the dot are hidden. And to do that, you can just head over to looks and I did this for the dot. You can just set um, the ghost effect to be 100. I will do the same thing within my maze. So set ghost effect to 100. And there we go. That is going to be all we need to do to have this maze set up. Now you can see the limitations of a map based maze. And that is these pixels do tend to show up. And there isn't really much you can do. Even in a list based maze, you will see the pixels, but they're gonna be a little bit neater. So that's the advantage of doing uh, a list based maze. But anyway, what I'm gonna do here is I'm also gonna change the pen color to be something a little bit brighter. So I will set the pen color to be a yellowish color. So set it to be, I'm gonna go ahead with color about and maybe 14, brightness about 77. And I think I'll go with um, saturation about 87. I think this should be a pretty nice fit. So now when we press the green flag, you can see that boom, we have this pretty wonderful maze showing up. And I think I interchanged the saturation and the brightness. So I will um, change them to make it a little bit more bright. And this should result in a proper maze wall. And I will end this video here. It was a fairly short video. But in the next video, we'll start to um, code in the actual character so that he can, uh, you can actually see him move around on the screen because as of now, it's still pretty passive since we don't have a character. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.